Did you know you can make flatbread with just two ingredients? All you need is yogurt and flour, and I'm here to show you how to make it. Hey everyone, I'm Yumna from Feel Good Foodie, and if you're intimidated by the idea of making bread at home, this easy flatbread recipe is a great one to try. You're going to love the texture of this flatbread that's just like store-bought naan. It's soft, airy, and pliable, and lasts for days. Not that it actually ever lasts for days in our fridge. This recipe is perfect for topping, dipping, or rolling it up with any of your favorite ingredients. And you really can't beat how minimal the ingredients are and how minimal the effort is. So let's get started. The two main ingredients, like I said, are flour and yogurt. So I'm gonna start with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And to the flour, we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of salt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. There's no need for yeast in this recipe. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some yogurt to it. I'm using plain whole milk yogurt. You can also use Greek yogurt if you wanted to, but Greek yogurt has less moisture than whole milk yogurt, so you'll need to adjust the flour as you go. And the beauty of this recipe is that you can easily adjust the flour as you're kneading the dough. If you feel like it's too moist, if you feel like it's too dry, you can very easily just adjust it as you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together. And when you first start, it's gonna feel super dry, but just keep mixing and you'll see that the yogurt gets well incorporated and then everything will get nice and blended. Now you can make this faster in a stand mixer if you have one, but what I like about this recipe is that you don't need a stand mixer. It's super easy to just knead it by hand and it doesn't have to look perfect. And when you can't mix anymore in the bowl, you can go ahead and transfer it to a flour surface and knead by hand. So I'm gonna do that right here. Just going to put a little bit of flour on the surface and transfer the ingredients right to the surface. Bring in all the flour. All right, now we just start kneading for just a few minutes until everything feels to be well incorporated. It's gonna feel shaggy at first and it's also gonna feel wet at some parts, but just keep kneading it and then you'll have the perfect flatbread dough before you know it. So after about five minutes of kneading, you'll notice that it comes together really well. This is what we're looking for right here. The dough is nice and smooth. It's okay if there's some rough texture on there. It's not too dry, but it's also not too moist to stick to my fingers. All right, now it's time to cut this into four equal parts. You can leave it one giant flatbread, or you can cut it into six or even eight parts, but I think four is the perfect size for a non type of flatbread. So even though there's no yeast in this and it doesn't need to rise or proof, we still need to rest it because what's gonna happen is the yogurt is really going to absorb all of that flour and it's just gonna set so much better. So what I like to do is just kind of roll them up into individual balls like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I like to just stick it in a bowl or you can just wrap it in a saran wrap individually like this. So these are good at room temperature for 30 minutes or you can put them in the fridge for up to 24 hours. Anywhere in between works perfectly fine. So if the dough feels sticky at all, feel free to add a little bit of extra flour. I just like to add it to a floured surface and it usually takes care of any extra moisture that might've come to the surface. So just kind of roll it around and we're gonna go ahead and use a rolling pin just to flatten it out. And I think it helps to make them pretty thin because what's gonna happen is they end up becoming more airy and light when you roll them up pretty thinly. But you can keep them pretty thick if that's what you want. I try to go the length of my cast iron pan, which is either eight inches or 10 inches. And look at that dough, you guys. Can you believe it's just made with yogurt and flour? I mean, it's just perfect. If you wanted to, you can also just stretch it by hand as well, but I like using a rolling pin for this. All right, I rolled out the four pieces of flatbread and this is what they look like now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add it to a hot cast iron skillet with some butter and some olive oil. And I like making sure that the cast iron is nice and hot because it's really gonna create those air pockets and cook it super quickly. And the beauty of these, they just need two to three minutes per side and then you can flip them. And just like that, you've got homemade flatbread made with just a couple of ingredients. So now you can serve this, like I said, in a sandwich, you can serve it as a dip, you can top it off with some like cheese and pizza sauce. There's so many different ways to enjoy it. I'm gonna show you a fun Middle Eastern way that I like to enjoy it. So this makes a really fun brunch idea if you put it with some lebne, which is yogurt cheese, some olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, any other kind of vegetables you want. All right, time to rip it apart. Look at that texture, you guys. It's so soft, so pliable. And the good thing about this is that it's actually still really soft even after a few days after making it. So this is my favorite way to have it, just kind of like a pita Arabic bread. And then I like to dip it in some lebne with a little bit of cucumber and it makes just like the best sandwich ever. So time for the taste test. Mm. It's still warm and soft. Tastes just like store-bought naan, but actually even better because it's literally made with yogurt, flour, baking powder, and salt. You guys are gonna love this recipe and I hope you try it and enjoy it. 
so good.